I don't think they're here this morning. I don't know if it's too cold, too windy. Don't know, wish I knew. I was a, a sage grouse biologist for about five years for the state before I took the position I'm in now. So we're in the Sheep Rock Mountains of Utah, just under 8,000 feet elevation. This is sagebrush. Sage grouse, they need tens to hundreds of square miles of sagebrush. It's the only thing they eat in the winter are the leaves of the sagebrush. Can't believe they're not here. The lek is an area where they gather each spring where the males strut. I'm a little surprised that they're not out strutting today. Welcome to wildlife. They don't always cooperate for some reason. Within the Division of Wildlife, we have professional photographers. And so our folks will go out every year in hopes of that perfect morning, that perfect opportunity to capture footage of the lek display. The males will have individual territories. They'll defend that pretty, pretty aggressively. The males, they have these yellow sacks that are hidden and then they inflate those so you get a flash of yellow and they hurry and release the air out of them. And you can hear it really far away. The strutting is kind of to determine who is the most fit and then the females can select that individual to father the offspring. Greater sage grouse are a candidate species for listing under the Endangered Species Act. In 2006, we saw uh, a high point in this population out here, and it's been declining since then. Um, one of the concerns we have is the lows of those population cycles keep getting lower and the highs aren't quite as high as they were. A lot of it's um, trying to reduce the impacts on the landscape. Um, just kind of fascinating how well adapted they are to sagebrush, but how fragile they are to disturbance to that, to that sagebrush. 